to Creative Chats Halloween Edition. Ooh. Well. It's not Halloween yet. It's Halloween. Season. It's basically Halloween. It's the season. I mean, for me, I put up my decoration September 1st. I started planning in November right. of 2018. <laughs> it's Halloween. We're very and excited. Did you notice that I'm all dressed for Halloween already? I'm wearing my goth bra. I got my, my Morticia sleeves. Your sweepy sleeves. Sweepy sleeves. Sweepy, sweepy. Yeah. Wow. I am there. I, I am I it. I don't even know what to say. I did black eyeliner. I can see it. <laughs> Today we're going to be talking about your special effects kit. What makeup you should buy for Halloween. Where to buy your makeup. Right. When to buy your makeup. Now. Now. Last week. Right. November of 2018. Not, <laughs> not two weeks before Halloween, not three days before Halloween. Now. now. Buy it now. Especially if you're going to do a photo shoot, then you need right. to do the photo shoot two weeks before Halloween exactly. at least so that the photographer can do the editing. Bah. Right. Exactly. Buy and it now. Don't go to Party City. Don't go to a Halloween store. I never recommend going to those places because most of the stuff that they sell is overpriced and crappy. And not really that good for your skin. No, it's actually not. It's not really great. Like there's a few like diamonds in the rough, but there's not, I mean, most of it is just crap quality makeup. And it won't last, it won't wear, especially won't. if you go to a party or a shoot and you need it, it to really, last for a really good hour. Won't. It really won't. So this is all stuff that I have in my kit. Um, that I'm going to be sharing with you. My favorites, what I choose to use over maybe something else. Um, you know, some people might disagree, but this is this is exactly what I use. And, um, you know, I've slowly accrued most of this over time. You don't have to buy all of it at once. Don't go crazy. Um, you know, it is very expensive, most of this stuff. Um, you know, there are some pieces that are expensive, so you just kind of want to slowly start to accrue And there's cheap time. stuff, too. There is. There's lots of cheap stuff here. For example, makeup sponges. You can buy a whole bag of these for one dollar. And these are latex free, so they're great for other people's skin that might be allergic to latex. I also recommend these little tiny cups. They're used for, I think, like pills or, or something. I don't know, I use them for water, I use them to put latex in, I use them to put my prosate in, um, which is a medical grade adhesive. I use them for mixing, I use them for all kinds of things. Then you can just throw them away, it's great. And then the last thing that I use are these little popsicle sticks. Um, they're great for mixing. They're great, uh, you know, for all kinds of stuff to apply prose, you, all kinds of stuff. I love them. Um, along with like, I also use cotton balls. I also use ear swabs. I also use all kinds of stuff to build up for latex pieces or stuff like that. Um, you know, and all of that stuff is very inexpensive. You can get most of that stuff actually at CES. So the next thing that I would recommend is brushes. Oh, this goes upside down. Okay, wait. Okay. Brushes. And what kind of brushes do you think that these are, Allie? These are cheap ass brushes. Yeah, they are. They're cheap. Now, I do have some brushes that are a little bit more expensive, um, but most of my brushes aren't over like $15, $20, um, and those brushes are very big brushes. This like, looks like a 30 cent brush. Right. Like, these are very inexpensive brushes, and that's because if something gets in them that can't come out, if latex like say or you know prosate just won't come out of the brush or whatever the case may be you can just throw them away it's not a big deal it's no skin off my teeth as you can see Allie's throwing away my perfectly good brushes that's a lot of fun yeah I got two left just in case we have to demo a brush <laughs> so um, the next thing that I would recommend is the palette um, my mixing palette and my mixing knife um, what I use these for? Mixing. That's exactly what I use them for. I literally take the product, mix it on there. I take these palette knives. These are have nice sharp edges so that you can get the product out. Um, and no, 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 no. I can stab. No, 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 no. That's not safe. Do not stab anyone. No. This is Halloween, but murder is not okay. Murder is not good. No murdering. And we do fake blood. We don't need to draw real blood. No, no. So yeah, so you can buy this stuff, um, you know, online at most like uh, Halloween stores. Ready? I'm ready. So the next thing that I recommend is a water activated palette or water activated colors, depending on what you're going to use. I have this lovely Maron palette. 
this was expensive. This is $88. Um, they $88. have ones that are like only like four colors or like, you know, if you just want to buy a simple one color, you can get all those on Amazon and it's only $10. So I bought this because I use it every, all the time for my, you know, body painting for all kinds of stuff. So this to me was completely worth it. I recommend it because it does have so many colors and it's great for mixing. If you're going to buy body painting water activated colors, I do recommend Mayron instead of Graftopian, um, which is a competitor of Mayron's. Um, but as you could guess, they're water activated, so you activated them with water. water. Um, so the next things that I recommend are alcohol activated palettes. Um, I have a lovely, I have lots of lovely palettes. Now these are expensive. This one's about $88. Um, and the grunge one, which is a smaller one, it's an onset palette. Um, this one's about $60. And the reason why they're so expensive is because I've had this for a while now and I have still not hit pan. And that's because this goes forever. And it doesn't go bad. And it doesn't go bad. No, it does not go bad because bacteria can't get in here. There's nothing that can get in here. And as you might have guessed, it's alcohol activated. So you have to use alcohol. Now, can I use vodka? No, because it's not high enough concentrate. Sorry, vodka. You have to use 99. You can't use 70. You can't use 10. So the next thing that I recommend is liquid latex. Um, basically anything Halloween, you need latex and you need good quality kind. So this is, um, I got this off of Friends Beauty. Um, they sell, uh, or Friends, I never know how to say their, their name, but um, yeah. I use their liquid latex. I like it. It's a great quality product. Um, if I'm looking for a liquid latex that has like a skin tone to it, I use Mayron um, because Mayron's really great. So, so the thing I recommend is a bruise wheel. Um, you can use a regular a regular sponge and a stippled uh, sponge, and you just you just use it together to create you know create a bruise or create bruising on like a wound or whatever the case may be. You can use this for wounds. You can use this for zombies. You can use this for all kinds of stuff, um, and it's really great because it. A color wheel so you kind of learn the color wheel too as you go um, but it's really nice it's grease it's a grease paint so it's a little bit more greasy but um, it's fantastic and really it's a staple for any SFX kit you have to have it so this would be less painful than walking into a door right yeah you don't want to do that don't walk no. into a door so just, much easier to just, just use this just and it just washes, washes right off washes so. off so the next thing that I recommend that you're definitely going to need is Ben Nye setting spray. You have to have this for whenever you're making pro, um, prosthetic pieces, for whenever you're applying anything, for whenever you're setting anything. I actually use this for beauty looks too because there's no, as the kids say, flashback. <gasps> flashback is bad. Very bad. As a photographer, I will tell you, you do not ever want flashback. Yes, that is okay. when you hit somebody with a strobe. And their makeup they hit you right back flashes you right back with it's faces. like there's no Photoshop yeah so there's no flashback with this and it's great and a little bit goes a long way like with most um, special effects uh, products so the next thing is Prozade I always recommend Prozade over spirit gum a lot of people use spirit gum because it's easily accessible you can get it at any Halloween store it's fantastic it's trash. I don't like it. I don't think that it's great for your skin. Um, you know, it's not. So Prozade is a medically grade adhesive, which means you can use it basically anywhere on your body. I mean, so, really. So I have, I have spirit gun for my elf ears. Should right. I so swap to I, Prozade? Yeah, I would swap to Prozade. Um, and the only reason I say that is because people have been known to develop allergies over time to spirit gum and it literally will take off your skin. I would like to keep the skin on my ears. Yeah, exactly. So um, Prozade is great. Like I said, it's a medically great adhesive. It's water soluble, which means it will literally just come off with water. And a lot of people complain because it's a little bit more, it does take more time to come off than spirit gum. But the thing is it holds better and it's safer for you. And it comes off with just like a hot rag because A, it's water soluble, and then some baby oil that will also kind of take it off. So it's a great product, I really like it. So the last, one of the last things that I recommend is blood. Um, now blood is very different. You have to use different kinds of blood. You're gonna have uh, coagulated blood, you're gonna have liquid bloods, you're gonna have mouth safe bloods, all kinds of bloods. Um, I always recommend Ben Nye. I have a blood story. Oh. Tell me your blood story. So when I was shooting Snow White as a vampire. On a dark, 
stormy night. Yes, well, actually, it was a hot day in the woods. But <laughs> Jan brought uh -huh. her own blood. Oh, okay. And oh, she for looked the online. Snow White. Snow White, Snow White yes. was a vampire. I love that shoot. I love that right. shoot. Right, but yes. she went online and everybody said, this is great blood. And, yeah. And she got this thick scar blood. Oh, okay. But and it wasn't that night. I know it wasn't. Oh. And it. It, it was really hard. Like, we're out there in the woods, and we're trying to make it run, and it wouldn't run because it's this no. thick gel. And so we kept, like, squirting it, and, and then when we were done, we finally got, like, something that worked, but it was never really good. Right. And, like, we're trying to coat the heart and everything. It was just a mess. And then later, it stained her hands. <gasps> oh, yeah. Like, she could not get this stuff Like an hands. orange? Yeah. Oh. That's why you know it wasn't Ben Nye. So Sorry. use the right kind of blood. Yeah, so use the right kind of blood. I, Like I said, I recommend Ben Nye. There's a lot of other great products, a lot of indie products um, that are out there that are also really great. The coagulated blood, I always recommend Ben Nye because they're really great. It doesn't stain. Um, you use coagulated blood for wounds or scars or anything where it's like the skin has been torn into. You're going to use the coagulated blood. It's thicker. Um, they also have different variants of this. It's like they have like a variant that's like thick blood, um, very thick blood. It, it just depends on kind of what the consistency is that you're looking for. Sure that and then no, 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 no. And then this up. is not safe mouth blood. No, no, no. This is just regular to look blood. Like a vampire. Right. So this is just regular blood. It's Ben Nye. I put them in a squirt bottle so that um, I can either twist off the top, take a little bit out, apply where I need to, or I can spray so that there is a spray pattern, um, which is really nice for whenever you're doing anything with like maybe like a warrior like or Liz maybe. when she was a Viking. Right, exactly. Um, so I could never put this in your mouth as a vampire because it's not mouth safe blood. You always want to use mouth safe blood. Ben Nye has one. I actually have been using a new one. Um, they make all different kinds. They make like a zombie one that's green. They make a, like a yellow one and it's all mouth safe. Um, and they taste different. The one that I have tastes like, it tastes like raspberry jam. It's really great. So, um, and then the last thing that I recommend for your kid is third degree. That's the last thing that I recommend. Now, I recommend this over nose and scar wax. Nose and scar wax is like, it's very cheap. This whole thing of nose and scar wax costs, I think like $20 maybe. Both of these teeny weeny jars are $40. So it's very expensive, but the quality of third degree is a lot better. Um, nose and scar wax, if you're in the summer, it just like melts right off you. It's very difficult to apply. It gets all over your fingers. I am just not a fan of nose and scar wax. Everybody's different though. Um, some people really like this stuff. They really like using it. I, it's just not for me. I just don't like it. So I use third degree. And basically what third degree is, is it's a two part formula. So yeah, so you just mix them together and then you apply them. I actually use them for whenever Dan and I did um, the cybernetic man with Matt I was um, for nice. Maze Crates. Yeah, so um, and it was it's really nice. It comes off nicely. Um, it applies nicely. It looks like real skin, which is why I really like it. It's more expensive, but it's completely worth it. And again, a little bit goes a long way. Bonus. 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 So the last thing. I use this in my special effects kit, um, as well as my beauty kit. It is Cinema Secrets. It is fantastic. It's wonderful. It is glorious. Um, I cannot speak enough about it. It is basically a brush cleaner. We love it Cinema Secrets. It cleans the brushes in ah, seconds. I just touched my face, so I think I took my makeup off. <laughs> it's wonderful. I love it. It basically, um, you know, will clean your brushes in, in seconds, especially like if it's covered in blood, if it's covered in something that's gross and grimy, if, if it's alcohol activated, you just mix it with a little bit of the 99%, it comes right off. It's fantastic. I can't speak, I speak volumes to it. Um, you know, this is a huge bottle. This huge bottle goes for around $40, um, but I have cleaned so many brushes with this huge bottle. So I love Cinema Secrets. I can't speak enough to it. Um, so yeah, so I mean, this, is what I recommend in my in your special effects kit. This is what I have in mine. I haven't, you know, this stuff took me a couple of years to, um, you know, get together, um, you know, buy and stuff like that before I was like, oh, okay. You know, first I started with nose and scar wax, then I kind of experimented. Everything's gonna be different and, you know, 
what you're creating for your Halloween look, you might not need all of these things. So you know, might only need some of them. I think I'm going to start carrying some nice quality blood in my studio. And I think a, that's great. A bruise wheel and a bruise wheel. With yeah, a little sponge. Yeah, just in case you need like a like a character that's like badass or something. Yeah, I think that that's really great for photographers to carry that stuff just in case you need it, um, because the you know cosplayer or the model might not have it exactly. So, so the takeaway. Buy your stuff now. Now. Buy it now. Buy it early. Yes. Buy good quality products. Yes. And, and good quality products don't have to be expensive. Nope. Yeah. They don't have to be expensive. So. Buy a spike bra. No, don't do that. That's yeah, cool. I put this in. No, 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 no. I like the spike bra. Don't do that. Well, the coating part. She wants everyone to wear the spike bra. She's worn the spike bra. Unfortunately, true. If you have any questions, in the comments and she will answer them. I'll answer them. If I answer them, I'll have to ask her first. Yes, and we'll put all of the products in the comments. We'll put the stores that I technically like to buy from that where the products come pretty um, fast, especially around Halloween. Um, and I would love to know what you're going to be for Halloween because we love Halloween. Love. We're excited. We like badass, dangerous characters. Yes. And if you enjoyed this episode, like, subscribe, and hit the hit Halloween the bell. bell. It's a Halloween bell. bell. Halloween. Ding, 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 ding. Sing the bell. See you next Monday. Maybe you I think you make should it. make a checklist. Maybe, but we'll forget to read the checklist. That's probably true. Sure, the sound is on. I saw it moving. I know, I'm just making sure. I mean, you want me to go look again? I saw it moving. I just want to make sure it's the on. The sound is on! Okay.